Haunted Mansion Holiday at Disneyland has changed a lot this year. Some of the changes are more focused on maintenance and TLC upkeep around the attraction, while other changes around the ride are either hidden fan favorites or potential signs of what is to come to the regular Haunted Mansion when it returns to Disneyland next year. The Haunted Mansion has had a lot of rumors swirling around about it, and many of the updates done to Haunted Mansion Holiday somewhat confirm their validity. With that being said, there are a lot of details to go over, many of which many of us weren't expecting Disney to do. So let's go over what's changed at the Haunted Mansion Holiday, starting with the outdoor queue. The first thing many people will notice walking into the queue is the path has completely changed. There's now new stones and new railing in place of what used to be the chain link fencing. The original bricks and fencing around the ride have also been completely replaced, but the weathering and rundown look is still there. It's still been brought over. As for the areas around the pathway, the fountain outside the Haunted Mansion queue that was recently removed for New Orleans Square was refreshed and moved over to the left side of the queue, while the hearst was moved closer to the front of the mansion to make way for what looks to be a new lightning lane or multi-pass thing, whatever it's called, scan-in area. The hearse sits on top of what used to be the grassy area, and you can see the outline of where the old queue used to be with the bricks on the ground. I think this new queue is the same width as the old queue, but it looks a little bit wider due to the hearse being there. Maybe I could be wrong. There's also a lamp next to the pumpkin scarecrow, which used to sit where the hearse is sitting today. Moving inside, both the lobby and stretching rooms have stayed relatively the same. There was a rumor that Disney was planning to remove the hanging corpse above in the stretching room for, you know, sensitivity reasons, but it's hard to tell if they really did that since the corpse is usually covered up during Haunted Mansion Holiday. However, after Jack disappears in the pre-show, there's an animated hanging corpse projected on the screen, something that's still there. Maybe Disney didn't want to re-render the footage because it was too expensive or they're too lazy, or maybe this could mean the hanging corpse is still going to be hanging around <laughs> when the Haunted Mansion comes back to its original form. It's a little hard to tell now since this is still Haunted Mansion Holiday, but regardless of the rumors, nothing has really changed from 2023 to 2024. Leaving the stretching room, the changing portrait scenes have also stayed relatively the same, but something that did change was the bus. A while back, they used to have these Christmas lights that spelled out Ho 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 and Noel, and also this creepy candy cane thing that said Free Sleigh Rides. But those things have been long gone since 2019. I was kind of hoping they would bring them back this year, but alas, I guess not. Getting on the ride, one of the first things I noticed was how fast the vehicles move, as in they are moving faster this year compared to the other years. It's a very small difference that doesn't really affect the ride experience, but it does this very strange thing where the ghost host now cuts himself off when switching from his Spanish spiel to English. <laughs> It's not really a big deal, it's just something I found kind of interesting. I didn't really find any major changes in the first couple of scenes in the endless hallway as well as the conservatory. However, I did find a couple interesting things in the next hallway scene. The Vampire Bat, an original Haunted Mansion concept art from Mark Davis that was originally featured next to the Endless Hallway but then was suddenly removed about a week later, has been put into Haunted Mansion Holiday. So I saw the bat in the corner of my eye when I was recording the ride, but it was very hard to see. Hopefully it sticks around in the regular Haunted Mansion, or at the very least, makes it back over to the next year's Haunted Mansion Holiday. Um, according to the Haunted Mansion Wiki, there's also a little tag attached to the bottom of the cage that says the vampire bat is a gift to Grandpa Mark, most likely referring to Mark Davis. I wish I could verify that, but it is so dark in that room that all you can see is just the outline of the cage and the two red dots for it for the bat's eyes. It is just really hard to see, unless you have a very powerful camera. The man-eating plant has also been repaired. Its teeth are supposed to move up and down, but for the last couple of years, they haven't moved at all. This year, 
all of the man-eating plant's teeth and arms are working, which surprisingly enough hasn't happened since 2019. No changes in Madame Leoto's room from what I can tell, uh, not too surprising since this scene typically has the least amount of changes or issues from year to year. In the ballroom scene, the Frankenstein gingerbread house is the only major change. I've been on this year's Hunted Mansion holiday twice, and for some reason I haven't smelled any gingerbread when coming into the ballroom. Next is the attic scene, where most of the changes in the ride have happened. Literally everything has changed. Props have been moved around, there's new lighting, we have new or at least a modified snake, we potentially have a new bride animatronic, and so much more. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single change that has happened in the scene, since the last time I did that, people got a little angry, so I'll keep it fairly simple and, and look at only the major changes done to this area. On the right side moving in, we have a lot more presents stacked higher in the air compared to last year. Looking to the left, where the duck toy from the Nightmare Before Christmas movie used to sit, is now the snake's tail holding up a star resembling a Christmas tree. The snake's head, which used to sit on the right side of the vehicle, has been moved to the other side, where it now sits right next to the Candleman, making it fairly easy to see both the snake and Candleman. Before, if you wanted to have a decent look at the Candleman in the attic scene, you would need to turn away from the snake and basically miss that entire scene. A very good change for both Hunted Mansion enthusiasts and also just regular guests. Where the snake used to sit is now a painting from Jack Skeleton. Now this isn't a new painting, instead it used to be installed on the other side where the snake is today. They basically just switch sides. The snake also smashed through a painting which I think is pretty funny and cool, nothing really new there. Additionally, the part of the snake going over the doom buggies has also been removed since the snake is only found on one side of the vehicle. Of new animatronics added into the scene where a pumpkin and Jack Skeleton Jack in the Box slowly sway back and forth. The face on the Jack Skeleton Jack in the Box sort of resembles Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons, while the other box is definitely Jangles the Clown from Inside Out. This scene is really interesting because it's clear Disney is trying to hide something behind these animatronics. Behind the Jack in the Boxes, there's a large black curtain covering up a pretty substantial area give or take maybe about 7 or 5 feet. Personally, I think this confirms the rumor that Disneyland's Haunted Mansion is getting a new animatronic, specifically a new bride animatronic. The previous Constance animatronic, if you can even call it that, was supposed to be a 19th century wooden mannequin used to hold up a wedding gown which Constance has possessed and materialized in. This effect was done with fans and a projector and looks exactly how it sounds really bad, but since the original Constance wasn't an animatronic, it was fairly easy to remove and reinstall, which was why she was completely removed every year during Haunted Mansion Holiday. A full-blown animatronic, however, is different. Those are a pain to install and reinstall, since they are heavy, extremely expensive, have loads of mechanical parts, and are somewhat fragile. Instead of removing them, Disney would just cover them up, which is exactly what we're seeing here. I could be wrong, but I think there's an animatronic, or at the very least, the foundations for an animatronic behind this black curtain. In the graveyard scene, there's a few minor changes, but nothing really major. The Jack animatronic is moving a little slower compared to last year. There's a lot less snow throughout the graveyard, you can see a lot more grass. The pop-up head behind the graveyard fence is working again, and a skeleton reindeer across the singing pumpkins is missing. It might be installed later down the line, not too sure about that. The lighting has also been slightly improved around the scene, there's a lot more greens and blues. Then moving on to the last scene, we have one of the biggest changes in all of the Hunted Mansion. That is, the animatronics behind the glass, or mirror, has been removed and replaced with screens. It's a little hard to tell in the video, but the effect in the previous years was practical. The gifts Ugi gave you were jerky and always stayed visible no matter where you were looking at. Today the gifts are now fully digital. They have a fade in and fade out animation while also moving a lot more smoothly compared to before. This is part of the rumor where Disney was getting rid of the hitchhiking ghost effect and making it similar to the Walt Disney World version where everything is screens. 
But looking at this, the Haunted Mansion Holiday, it completely confirms it, 100%. Originally, I was very against the idea of changing the hitchhiking ghost. Over in the Magic Kingdom, it was very obvious they were screens. The projections were clearly brighter than everything else. There were these weird black bars that separated each screen, and, and it just didn't look convincing. It was really, really poorly done. Disneyland's version, on the other hand, is very clean. You really can't tell where the projection starts and ends. Honestly, I didn't even notice they were screens until I reviewed the footage. I think this effect is done really well. I like it a lot. I'm actually a little excited to see what Disney is going to do when they bring back the original Haunted Mansion. And those are basically all the changes I've noticed from Disneyland's Haunted Mansion Holiday. What do you think of these changes and updates? Do you think they're good? Bad? Or did I miss anything while I was doing this video? Tell me in the comments down below. Overall, I'm pretty happy to see all the changes to Haunted Mansion Holiday. I think they're pretty good and really help improve the ride. But keep your eyes peeled for all the cool stuff that could be announced at D23 and reappear when the Haunted Mansion comes back in 2025. I'll also be doing a watch along live stream for the Disney Experiences panel on August 10th on this channel. So come and join if you want to watch along and hear my reactions.